Hi YouTubers, just going to attempt to um, use this my Carter, this black canvas my Carter I just got off eBay to um, make myself a fire steel handle to match my new Ben Orford knife. Stay tuned. So there we go. I've cut a small piece off. Tossed it up with a bit of sandpaper. You see the difference it makes. Let's see that shine. It's completely taken that off. Now I'm going to chop it in half again. Right. Chopped them both in half. What I've got to do now is mix the epoxy. This is um, probably quite a long set. When I looked on YouTube, everyone's advice was to get the longest set epoxy you can. Um, it tends to be a little bit more stable than the um, five minute set. 2 minute set, 10 minute set, so this is probably about I don't know, 90 minutes I think, if I remember rightly. Exactly the same stuff as I used to stick the oak scales on my, um, on my bushcraft knife. So anyway, I'll mix this up, plonk a bit in between, and then um, put these two bits in the voice here. Now, because this voice is nice and smooth inside the jaws, I'm not going to worry about um, putting any blocks in there. Normally, if you've got a, um, a vice, you have some nailed, nailed grippy bits on the inside, and it would really chew up your wood or your micarta. So, um, no need for that this time. Alright, let's mix up, mix up this epoxy. And... Um, Stick it in the voice, see you in a minute. So there you go. There's the epoxy. All mixed up, nice and even. I'll spread it in between the two blocks of my carter. And stuck it in the voice, tightened up as much as I can. But unfortunately, that's it really for today. Just gotta to let it go off of its own accord and then tomorrow. Um I can mark it up. So I'm going to basically sand it to a nice even square block and then find the centre and drill my hole. And that is for my fire steel. There you go. Nice long fire steel. something like that and then I've got to choose the um, shape I'm going to file it which can be any shape you want really I think I, I, think I was going to go for a, a nice nice swoopy easy to look at obviously I want to make it look as if I never made it <laughs> And it's made professionally. Laugh out loud. <laughs> right, that's it for today. See you again when this goes off. Right guys, day two. This is your two little blocks of my carter. Bonded together. Now hopefully, if I flat file this on this sandpaper, enough you won't be able to see the join there anyway bear with me I'm just gonna have a just gonna have a try and I'll see you again in a second so there you go really pleased with the way that came out I don't think you'd even notice that it was two blocks 
So remember, when you're sanding it down, you want a nice flat surface. And then you won't get no funny angles. So all I've got to do now, find the centre and drill a hole. And I can start shaping it. Haven't decided what shape to do yet. Probably still going to go for that sort of shape. We'll see. Let's we'll see how it goes. See you in a while. There you go. Centre hole found and drilled. There you go. All on a simple little setup. Cheap pedestal drill, <laughs> and an even cheaper B and Q drill. All right, just gonna enlarge the hole now. Uh, as you can see, this fire still is near as damn it. I'll get it to focus all right. There you go, eight mil. So, uh, gonna go up in increments, so I don't go over. All set up, ready for my next drill. It's about six mil this one. I'm gonna put this um, quick grip clamp on there, just to stop it spinning around, make it a bit safer. Remember, always, always wear safety goggles. Especially with this my carter stuff, very dusty. Just a um, bandana around your mouth will be alright. Um, if you've got a filter, all the better. I don't do a lot of this sort of thing, so it's not like I'm um, getting dust like this every day. Alright, see you in a minute. Right at last. Drilled right out to 8mm. Let's see if the fire still fits. Focus, there we go, right. Look at that. There we go. That's pretty square as well. Yeah, pleased with that. Right. Let's have a check on the knife. Right, this is the knife I'm making this fire steel for. You can see it's my Ben Orford knife. I bought at the Bushcraft Show. Oh, what a beauty. What a beauty. Flat of this blade here. Absolutely fantastic. No frills, my carter. It's a real working knife. So now, I think with a bit of shaping, profiling, it's going to match a treat, isn't it? So unfortunately, that the the size of this fire steel holder is so long. I had to get a, I had to get a hundred mil ferrocium rod. That's the right way to say it. Oh, we're going to go that way or that way. That way probably. Right. So all I've got to do now, <coughs> I think I'll, I think I'll drill a hole now for the lanyard. So it doesn't fall out. Right, see you in a minute. I don't know whether you can see here. I've marked up the land yard hole. There you go, you can just see that 
see the two outer lines and the inner line. There you go, that's the one I'm going to drill in. Right, time to set it back in there again. Oh, would you look at that? Fitted me brass iron yard tube. Just got to shape it now. <laughs> 